What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. Oh, this one's unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this. <laughs> you left your husband because he went through a little financial struggle. Indeed. At any point in time, did you feel that love should have kept you there? I feel like he didn't love me because if he did, he wouldn't have went through a financial struggle. Bro, this is a sad reality I feel like a lot of men have to live with. A man that loves a woman don't go through hard times. I don't... <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> you left a man at his lowest. If he loved her, he wouldn't go through financial hard times. Everybody in life goes through financial difficulties. Billionaires, millionaires, people that work hard every day, not Facts. the fivers. Something is going to happen in your life that's going to be financially difficult, right? So that tells me that she never loved him in the first place. Facts. Because what is supposed to happen if you get too large? I'll, I'll say, listen. I never married you for weight difficulties. <laughs> what happens <laughs> if you don't look the same or feel the same or you get hurt or sick? Listen, I did not sign up for sickness difficulties. I didn't sign up for you to have health <laughs> issues and health difficulties. This is the insanity. Now this right. It's a modern woman mindset, bro. It's absolutely brutal. She left her man when he was at his lowest. At his lowest. Love should have kept him there. Absolutely. Love, sh love should have kept her there. Yeah. yeah. That's brutal, bruv. Because the thing is, stuff happens, man. Stuff absolutely happens. Do you side with a man or woman in the case I'm about to present here? Okay. Right, I'm see. actually going to side with the man on it, but uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say. So this man and this woman, husband and wife, they're having a party. They've been married for a couple years and uh, the guy's stepkid, her kid, you know, is there at the party. Everybody's having a good time or whatever. And he's giving relationship advice to some of their friends. And she comes over and says, uh, don't take relationship advice from him. And he says, thinks she's playing around and says, uh, um, well, it got me you, didn't it? And he gives her a kiss or whatever. And she says, the only reason you got me is because I was recently divorced, scared, and I had a kid. Oh, if your woman's really, oh, if she's comfortable enough talking, talking to you like that around company, bro, you need to go. And basically, he was a safe choice. And he, he goes silent, right? And I mean, I don't know. That would be so freaking devastating, okay? but uh, So disrespectful. A man came in, picked up the pieces, helped you, is taking on the responsibility of another man's child, and you have the audacity to disrespect him around people. That's awful. A couple of days later, she realizes how silent and how affected he is, and she tries apologizing. He said, I'll be okay. And then, like, two weeks later, uh, she's starting to get into panic because he will not talk to her. He won't do anything. She starts cooking his favorite foods, trying to do all the things that he likes, even goes so far as to have their uh, kids go stay at her parents' house or their, his stepkid and her kid go stay at the parents' house. And then she takes him somewhere on that was important to them. And they go stay a couple nights there. And then when they come back, he goes to work uh, for a couple days. He comes back as soon as he walks in the door. He said, uh, can you sit down on the couch for a second? Sits down and said, we're done. We're getting a divorce and Good she tried everything she begged uh him not to go she said i love you now i'm so sorry um blah 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 i actually side with the guy on this and Me i'm too. not not trying to be mean i understand everybody's situation would be different but the fact of the matter is and a lot of people are going to say no you work harder on a marriage to me that contract's null and void because she did not love him when she got into the relationship okay well if she said he was a safe choice She's basically just admitting that he wasn't the best option for her. And if that's the case, I'm not coming in to save you. I can be your hero, baby. That's why we that's why we gotta end this epidemic. We're not saving these women anymore. And if she's and this is why I say men want respect and women want love. If she's willing to disrespect you around other people and make you look like a fool, bro, there's no going back to that. If she admitted all of those things, no amount of making it up is gonna make it better. But chat, let me know, who do you side with, the guy or the girl? I 100% got uh, side with the man on this one. She saw safety. She was panicked after her recent divorce being a stay-at-home mom with a single kid. Mm -hmm. So she latched onto the first guy she didn't even love because he had money and could provide safety. And that's mm -hmm. what she did and admitted that's what she did. And uh, and so when he found out, he's like, oh, you don't love me? I don't want you then. Yeah, okay, out. The only thing that gives me hesitation about uh, ending 
the marriage and everything would be the kid. How attached to him is the kid? Because it sounded like the other father wasn't in, uh, he's a father figure, but the other real dad wasn't in the picture. And so you kind of don't want to harm the kid, but I'm also one who does not believe in parenting marriages. I've seen four of them in my own life. Every single one of them have their kids horrible messes, uh, multiple divorces when they get older and all that stuff. But that's a side subject. This subject is, do you agree with this guy for divorcing her? She said she admitted she didn't love him. She just chose him for safety. Yep. And uh, to me, that would be about the only more devastating thing a woman could do is love me and then cheat on me, which to me means she never really loved me in the first place. But let me know what your thoughts are. I would definitely side with the guy on this, but uh, I understand everybody's got their own opinion. Here's the thing. Based. Yeah. Leave her. Simple as that. He did. He did the right thing. If she admitted to never loving him, never really being all in, then it's like, bro, you got to go. She said he was a safe bet. Oh, bro. On to the next. Go to a woman that's actually going to respect you. But it just goes back to the point. Like, she didn't cheat or anything, but men want respect. She she didn't give that. So it's like, I'd be on to the next. Gross to dislike or hate her husband in a marriage. Please understand, the only person who is responsible for that is her husband. Right? It has nothing at all to do with her friends, with her family, with random women online talking about their own personal experiences inside of their own um, dysfunctional marriages. It has nothing to do with coaches. I don't know who you're talking about. I'm not a coach. I'm just an asshole with a phone who talks about her personal experiences. Hey, I like this lady. I don't, I don't know if I exactly agree with the first part, but I, I, I like the humility here online to support other women and help validate their own experiences which means if a woman hates her husband that's her experience i am here talking about how i hated my husband and the comments on this video that talk about why women don't have intimacy with their husbands because they don't like their husbands. And there's many personal stories of those women's experiences of why they grew to dislike or hate their husband and why they were completely repulsed by their husband. It's not because of what they heard their neighbor say, what they heard their sister say, what they heard their friend say on a girl's night. When a woman starts to hate her husband, it is completely the fault of her husband. All right. I love it. It's never a woman's fault. But the thing is, it's the way you feel about me. How am I supposed to be responsible for the way you feel? It's like the whole argument of self-esteem. It's your self-esteem. It's the esteem of yourself. How is it my responsibility to choose how you feel about me? It's your responsibility. So women like this usually end up just buying a lot of cat food. <laughs> the other day about my friend being down bad for a loser and I have some updates and thoughts. So TLDR, my friend has been hanging out with this guy in a platonic way. They've never hooked up and he got out of a long-term relationship recently. I've already made clear to her red flag. Is this a guy? Voice is, voice is a little sus. If you just want attention and you want to have fun, fine. If you want a serious relationship, he's not the guy for you, okay? But you know what? Do whatever you want. So they keep hanging out. Uh, I literally put them on the guest list to get into the club for free and this guy doesn't even want to acknowledge my existence even though I know him too. Then one day... That's because she has an expectation that she should be validated. Stop expecting things from people. Bro, if you always expect the worst, you will never be let down, gents. Hey, they're out and he starts telling her about this girl that he's hooking up with and she gets really offended. She's like, well, then what is this? Like, you know, I was starting to have feelings for you. That's so disrespectful of you to be talking about other women to me. And then she told me this story, like, how fucked is that, that he would bring that up as if he had done something wrong. And I was like, girl, I'm sorry, but you played yourself. He never said to you, let's go on a date. He never said to you, hey, I really like you and I want us to be serious. You guys are just hanging out. Okay, you having feelings for him is actually meaningless because what has he done to add value to your life? You've pedestaled the attention of a man as having inherent value when in reality, he's actually done nothing to improve your life in any way, shape or form. In fact, every time I see you with him, your friend who you respect loses a little bit of respect for you because you're asking for me to get you guest list for a person who's not even showing gratitude for that benefit that he's getting out of you. 
Maybe you don't even tell him that I'm the one that's helping you out, but it doesn't look good, okay? Maybe he's insecure about making a move because he's afraid of rejection, or maybe he doesn't want you like that, or maybe he just likes having you around as a potential option. It doesn't really matter because your needs aren't getting met and he's not doing anything to add value to your life and he's also not doing anything to progress your relationship. Then, the other day, I was in an ice cream shop near my house and I was about to walk in with a friend and then I saw this 40-year-old white man's bald head and I was literally like... And behind him, I saw the outline of a woman. I just turned around and walked around the block because I did not want to see or... I love it when a woman gets to the point. It's probably my favorite part of all these stories. Speak to him or make small talk. I told my friend, I was like, hey girl, uh, I saw that friend of yours and um, he was at this ice cream shop near my house. She was like, oh, was he with someone? I was like, well, I couldn't see a face, but I'm pretty sure he was with a girl and men don't tend to go out and get ice cream by themselves. And she was like, oh yeah, like he texted me two hours ago. Tomato, tomato. And then again, she's like, oh, men just, you know, uh, entertaining all these girls because they want to run away from their problems. Meanwhile, like I'm sitting at my house in the dark for three hours because some construction worker cut off the electricity to my building. I was speechless. Why are you sitting in the dark for three hours? Go outside. This is the problem. I just made a video about how it's important for you to do things that you enjoy. Men enjoy women, so they enjoy multiple women, okay? There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. You don't enjoy being one of multiple women. Don't do that for a man. You don't enjoy being at home in the dark for three hours. Go and do something that you can ha where you can have an enjoyable experience, okay? You don't live in a place where there's no electricity. You could go outside, go to a cafe, go for a walk, go to a yoga class. You know, listen to some music, read a book. Like, it's still the fucking day. But this is the problem. Whether he's got problems or not, he's not addressing. He's still doing things that he enjoys, okay? And you're not. And that's why you're insecure. And that's why you think that you need to wait for this man's approval in order for you to approve of yourself. When in reality, it's like, why is this guy who has not added any value to your life? In fact, all he's done is foster and trigger insecurities in within you. Like, you're running from your insecurities too by putting your i can't i'm sorry it's one of the first times i can't it's just yapping what do you even get? what's the point good lord what is the point I, I didn't even understand the subject of that story good lord we're not raised to be wives or told what a wife is and there are many true women are raised to know what to expect from a man but never know what a man should expect from them been across this country paying the price what i have found is that many men in this country many men i love it when somebody says many men pearl is so based what do you got here girl suffer in silence and so many times what i hear from women is complaining about the little things in relationships or in life mm. and oftentimes what i find is that men are belittled and put down by their wives across this country and they just suffer in silence. Yeah. Many men are in sexless marriages and they just suffer in silence. Many women were not raised to be wives or told what a wife is. And there are many men across this country paying the price. I asked men, what are some of the ways you have felt disrespected in a relationship that your significant other may not be aware of. The number one complaint that men had of how women disrespect them in a relationship is disclosing too much to your female friends. It's us first, not your gossip group. Here's Bro, that, I mean, that's so true. That's so true. And Cass is so good about that. Cass is so good about like not telling nobody none of our business. But I feel like that it's also a cultural thing. I feel like white people in general, we overshare. Cass's family, they don't they don't overshare at all. The thing. Boys are taught how to treat a lady. We're trained for Yeah, but like yeah, in, in that, boys are taught how to treat a lady, but women aren't taught how to be a wife. It's like me the, that Mexican OT has a song, he's like, uh, nobody taught you, or nobody taught you how to suck dick, but you sure did go ahead and figure it out. You know, and it's so true. Like, a lot of women don't even have a cookbook, but they sure know how to gobble a glizzy. It's crazy. It's crazy work out here in these streets. 
than when men complain that women only want the top 1% of financially successful men. Why is that funny? If we're to believe this, it would seem that 99% of the men out there don't have a chance with the majority of women who have these sorts of expectations. When women have been subjected to unrealistic beauty standards for like what? At least a century. Apparently, this is a competition of... These unrealistic beauty standards are between y'all. Y'all do that to compete with each other. Men want natural. Let me know, chat. Would you rather have a girl have a natural face or makeup on? I almost bet you the majority of you guys would rather have a woman have a natural-looking face. Who has it worse? The rise of plastic surgery. The rise of EDs. All because men only want to date the top 1% of beautiful women. Well, if that were the case, then the majority of women, 99% of them, would never have a date or any kind of relationship. Exactly. Like if hypocrisy could pay my motherfucking bills. I have a feeling it does. Women are superficial for going after the wrong qualities in men. That's actually the definition of what superficial is. Only going after those qualities that are on the surface, like money and appearance. Do they not teach these things in school anymore? The happiest groups of people by demographic are single women and married men. Google it, baby. Is Google a verifiable source? I don't know. Do y'all think the happiest group of women is single? I feel like if they were as happy as they were or are, are supposed to be, they wouldn't be on TikTok crying all the time. I where's all the men? He broke my heart. Does that seem happy to you? <laughs> to be honest, it doesn't seem happy. It seems like you're sad. I don't see a lot of single men on TikTok like crying about not being able to find a woman. We understand that nobody cares about the, the trials and tribulations and struggles that we have. But you ladies can just be, can just complain about everything and then the panda, the panda bears come out of the woodwork and say, it's okay, baby. That's why we got to end the epidemic now. Source of research material now. So what does that tell us, class? That marrying the wrong man depletes you. You are better off to be alone for the rest of your life than to settle for a scrub. Then there should be a lot of happy women out there. Uh, but social media says otherwise. Women have to be subjected to looking in the mirror for the majority of their life and feeling like they're not good enough. Then I feel like that guy can work a few extra hours at the office. I think we're about to see the rise of happy single men. Here's the harsh... We are seeing the rise of single happy men. Uh, men are going their own way, and I think they're thriving. Chat, let me know if you agree. I think men are absolutely thriving by being alone. We've realized that it's too much of a headache. And I really, like, I preach relationships, but I really don't I, blame men for wanting to be alone. It's less headache, dude. I mentioned, I was like, we should probably FaceTime before the- Oh, this is from the Reddit BT Dubs. Shout out to you guys. And this is from Cultural News. Cultural News be bringing the bangers, dude. Bangers, dude. Hey, just to make sure you're not like a murderer or something. And he was like, oh yeah, yeah, let's FaceTime right now. And I was like, well, not like right now. I was like, you know later and he was like no i don't want some like curated version of you i want to see you candid and i was like oh i'm shy <laughs> sorry and he was like this isn't gonna work out i love it know your standards Kim. i know think that's work, a Kim. result of what a lot of men have experienced on dating apps between the pictures that look nothing like the actual person the bots the scammers the real but flaky women that man was not playing games but the fact that you didn't want to facetime then and there made him think that you were and side note so many women would love the chance with a man that knows what he wants has boundaries and can communicate clearly because of that the fact that he had all of these qualities of a solid good man i don't think it's too crazy to consider throwing aside your insecurities and doing the FaceTime. Hey, facts. I like that girl, Emily King. Let's go look at her channel real quick. 633,000 subscribers. I, I need to interview her, bro. She's super good. Uh, this one's also from Cultural be, News. Let's pull this up, right? Chaw. But really do think they're the main character, and this entitled brat gets absolutely wrecked by a based gym worker. Do you need something? Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. Are you okay? Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. <laughs> Keep it pushed. Hey, Drew, you can leave. Nobody was looking at you any type of way. I don't own the gym, I, I work for you. Okay. Yes. And that if you're getting what? rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can go to the police and have you trespassed mm -hmm. right now. Would you like to? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we do. So right now, let's take your stuff and hit up money. Right. Okay. Cut the trespass to my membership. Where's her folk? That's what you get. I'm glad you got it on camera, though, honey. I'm glad you got it on camera. Uh, yeah. It, and it's so hard to feel bad for these women because it's like, oh, look, the, the consequences of my own actions. You decided to make that choice. 
why would I be, why would I feel bad for you when that's, you know, that's what typically happens, man. You play stupid games and typically you win stupid prizes. So make sure you guys jump in the, the subreddit. It should be in the description. Go put a video in there for me to react to. I really appreciate you guys. Desex has been great. Cultural news has been awesome. Uh, who else do we have in here? Uh, Pepper Potts. Oh man, look at look at this. I love this right here. Pepper Potts, I need to thank you for all of your content. I've been following everything that you preach. I kid you not, after two weeks, I've met an absolutely amazing man. Thank you. Bro, this, I love this. You're very, very freaking welcome, Pepper Potts. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I, I, I love it. I think if more women listen to this stuff, you would be able to go out there and procure a man. But the thing is, it's a lot of guys that watch the content. I, I'd love for the ladies to watch the content more. Um, I think women would get a lot out of this. And what's crazy is like a lot of the things that I say, Cass like pretty much agrees with almost all of it. Now, some of it, she's like, okay, that's a little over the top, but you know, I still, I'm still, I have my own beliefs, but that's the beautiful thing about Cass is we don't have to agree on everything. We agree on most things, but not everything, but we can always come to an agreement that it's okay to disagree. We agree to disagree. And I feel like a lot of people in relationships, they're like, we have to agree on everything together. We have to be the same. Like, I know people out there that literally want to marry an identical twin of themselves. I know a guy. I went to college with him. He married a chick that looks like she could be his sister. It's wild, bro. But, and then we joke amongst our friend groups, like, of course, he's such a narcissist that he would want a woman that looks exactly like him. <laughs> but, dude, that's half the reason I liked Cass so much is because we didn't agree on everything. I was so, I was so over girls just agreeing with everything I had to say. They're like, yeah, you're so great. You're like, I would lie to girls just to see if they would agree, and a lot of them would, and I was like, no. I want, I want a woman that can stand her ground, because what that told me is that eventually if she can stand her ground with me now in the beginning, then when times get tough and she's a mom, she can stand her ground then. You know, she's my wife. She can stand her ground then, because I might not always be there to protect her or like, like she's out running errands right now. A, a creepy guy might walk up to her. I need her to be able to stand her ground and not be like, oh, woe is me. Like Cass is, is, a, is a boss babe in that regard. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? He's so tired today. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook. The Four Pillars of Personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.